What's up guys, this is Yasa. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasa's Fit Frag and today I'm going to talk about some others from a very new Indian brand by the name My Perfume Secret. Okay, in case you haven't heard about this particular brand, I'll be giving their Instagram page link in the video description area. You can check it out. They have some really nice others along with beautiful presentation. I'll quickly show you how the presentation looks. Okay. This is how the Atar presentation comes, okay? And you open it this way, you get a nice little Atar roll-on bottle. This is a 6ml and they have this wooden box with a magnetic cap which you have to rotate it this way, okay? Very nice presentation with these, I think they are nails, I'm not very sure, but looks actually very stylish. And some of their Oud blends have this sort of presentation with that wooden base and the wooden cap. Okay, this is also a roll on, so I'll come to these soon, but I'm just showing you how the presentation is. I actually like their presentation. It looks absolutely great, very elegant. Now, all of these, they have in different ranges, so it's not that you cannot afford. So they start as cheap as 300 and they go up to 1,150, which is for the Oud. So I'll specify the pricing of each. I have about five in the 6ml category. Okay, these five and then two from the wood category. Now these five, out of these five, four are fresh fruity floral blends. One of them is a little unique and very interesting. It's my favorite actually. And the other two, which are these, are wood type. So I'll talk about these wood at the end of the video. So in case you do not like fresh fruity type of fragrances, you can skip towards the end because I'll be talking about these two at the end. Okay, so I'll cover these fresh categories first. So, so they currently have an offer which is you buy any two and get flat 10% off and free shipping. Okay, they are a very new brand I believe. So this is something like a promotional offer. So in case you are interested in buying, you can definitely order two or more and get flat 10% without any shipping cost. So I'll talk about the pricing of each one of them. So at number seven is a love story. Pretty interesting names as well. So like I said, this is how the presentation is. Similarly, they have a name label here as well. Okay, it says Love Story and they have a nice detailing about their brand here as well, which says My Perfumes, the world of perfumes at your fingertips. Okay, nice detailing on the cap as well. So these are roll on, which is 6 ml and a Love Story costs around 500 for a 6 ml. And this is a typical summer fragrance. It opens up with a very nice sparkling orange note along with grapefruit. That's what I get in the opening. A typical summer fragrance. And then after the dry down, you get a bit of patchouli, musk, sandalwood and vanilla. So that's in the base. So the opening is totally citrus, a very nice sparkling orange and grapefruit. Then comes all these sandalwood, vanilla and musk in the base. Overall, a nice blend. Nothing unique about it, but it is definitely nice, very smooth very sensual does not pierce into your nose nothing of that sort has a very smooth projection as well for the first two hours and then gives a decent lasting of eight hours now after four to five hours you won't really sense that citrus because that vanishes because usually citrus does not stay that long but the base is what supports this overall blend and then it goes up to eight hours so not bad in terms of performance definitely a good choice for the summer so that is a love story by my perfume secrets at number two is pure garden okay now all of these have similar presentation so i would not be showing about each one of them so pure garden opens up similar to what you see in the name pure garden it totally reminds of nice floral garden now if you are not a fan of floral fragrances i would not recommend this one because it is totally floral though the official notes in their Instagram page or website might not talk about any florals, but this one is inspired to give you that feel. So it totally gives you vibes of you walking by in a nice floral garden and floral doesn't mean it smells like jasmine or rose, which I understand some people don't like that sort of floral blends. This gives a mixture of all the flowers that you can imagine without making it smell like rose or jasmine. It is totally like a garden to be precise, okay? It smells exactly like how you walk in a flower garden. That's what this one gives. It has a little bit of citrus touch in the top, 
and then in the base you also get vanilla as well now performance projects very nicely smoothly for the first two to two and a half hours and this one gave me a great lasting of nine to ten hours on my clothes so i could actually smell this on my clothes even after 12 to 13 hours but let's keep it at nine to ten hours just to be on the safer side again i test all my fragrance indoors in bangalore weather so it can vary person to person but i'm giving you my experience easily 9 to 10 hours is what i got on my clothes a beautiful floral type of fragrance and the floral is not too overpowering or too sweet to make it smell like a feminine fragrance it is totally unisex just that you should have your taste towards floral blends very nice fragrance definitely try if you like floral type of fragrance at number five is mr perfect okay this is again a 6 ml roll-on this costs around 300 this i think is the cheapest from the align Pure Garden also costs around 300 in case I have missed to specify the price. So Pure Garden, if you like floral blends for 300, 9 to 10 hours of lasting, definitely try that one. So at number 5, Mr. Perfect also costs around 300 with a very nice almond opening, which is again not usual. But in case you hate almond notes, then I don't think you, you would enjoy this one. But I personally like almond based fragrance but it again depends on how well the other notes are blended together. So this has a typical almond opening supported by a very nice bergamot to give it that citrus juicy vibe. So it makes it a little fresh but it is not totally fresh because of the almond. Now in the dry down you get a bit of cherry and a nice dose of vanilla. So after 4 hours this is in the late dry down you get a nice touch of leather and tonka bean. Now that leather and tonka bean which is after four hours reminded me of Armani Code Profumo. Okay, because this also has leather and tonka. This is totally dominant on the leather and tonka in the base. And this one actually reminded me of that. I won't say it's a clone, so don't mistake me here. It is not a clone of Armani Code Profumo by any means, but the dry down reminded me of Armani Code Profumo. Okay, and that's because of the leather and tonka in the base so the leather is not like a typical leather fragrance because this also is not a typical leather fragrance it is a very tiny touch of leather with a nice dose of tonka bean to give it that sweet edge to it so overall i would say this is slightly on the unique side because it does not smell anything like the usual citrus fresh type of fragrance so in case you want to try something different like almond bergamot to give it that freshness bit of cherry and vanilla and then tonka and leather in the base very nice blend definitely to try it if you want to try something different from the usual sense and it is not that expensive also it costs only about 300 definitely give it a try if you like this sort of blend which i just mentioned okay now coming to the performance project is really nice in the first one hour and then it goes into a silent mode after two hours after two hours it is totally a skin scent but as a skin scent on your clothes it still goes up to seven to eight hours okay because some people only think about lasting and projection i don't recommend this one if that's your criteria because there are others which has heavy projection i'll come to that so this one is subtle smooth something like a crowd pleaser i would say but you need to have taste towards these slightly different unique type of blends okay that was mr perfect at number five now coming in at number four death kiss i think if you kiss this you are going to die <laughs> Okay, just kidding because the name sounds very interesting. All their names are something interesting which you generally don't see. Now, Death Kiss in the dry down reminded me totally of Rasasi Marasil, which is another again. I've reviewed that separately in my Al Haramein titled videos. So, I had the decant of Rasasi Marasil. Now, the dry down of Death Kiss kind of reminded me of that. I won't say it is a clone again. Don't mistake me. The dry down gave me reminders of Rasasi Marasil, making my statement clear. Now this opens up with a very nice orange with bit of white florals like lily and there is osmanthus herb as well. So osmanthus is a common note which they usually use in women's fragrance but again I don't really say it smells feminine because most of the fragrance in general are unisex. It again depends on your personal taste. This definitely has a bit of sweetness but not too sweet to make it feminine. I personally like this one because when I wear Rasasi Marasil, 
I get compliments from women because they like that sort of slightly sweet fragrance. So this one actually reminded me of that. And that's because of that orange note with some white florals like lily and osmanthus. Now, if you do not like sweet fragrances at all, then this is not for you. I'll come to the masculine one soon. So Death Kiss is definitely sweet, but not overly sweet. I definitely like this one and I would definitely recommend this one in case you like a bit of that amber sweetness. Now coming to the performance, really good performance for the first two to three hours. It projects really nice, very evident. And then it lasted easily about eight hours on my skin. Now, if you try it on clothes, I'm sure it would go above eight hours, but again, depends on your weather and skin chemistry, but eight hours, great lasting on my skin. So that was Death Kiss at number four. Now at number three, now this is my favorite from these five, which is the non oud category. And that is erotic evening okay i know the name sounds a little funny or interesting however you want to call it this is erotic evening but i would rather name it as exotic evening because it actually smells like an exotic evening where you spend some time in a rainy season in your balcony or in your garden with a nice cup of chai or coffee with this particular scent on because when i applied this one it totally took me into that feeling of me sitting in a garden and it was raining with that cool breeze and me having a cup of coffee with this scent on because this definitely smells exotic guys and this is my favorite from their line not talking about the oud categories i'll come to that separately but among these five this is my favorite that is erotic evening but i would rather call it as exotic evening it smells very exotic very unique, something that you don't usually smell at all. It opens up with a nice black currant with cinnamon and clove spiciness, some dry rose, there is a bit of incense and patchouli as well. Now all these put together is blended to perfection in my opinion. I personally enjoy smelling this type of fragrance, especially in that situation, the rainy season that I just mentioned. Beautiful fragrance. It just gave me a relaxing mood when I smelled this one. The best part was it does not smell like any other fragrance. It did not remind me of anything except for that moment of rainy season. Now in the dry down, there is definitely benzoin to give it that dry fruit sort of sweetness because benzoin sometimes blended with other notes gives that dry fruit sweetness. I don't know if you have ever experienced that. Now after six hours, which is in the late dry down, you would also get sandalwood and musk, but overall a beautiful fragrance very unique from the usual sense definitely gives me a feel of an exotic evening now performance wise this is absolutely great three hours of projection which is very evident and gave me a good lasting of 10 to 11 hours on my skin okay now on clothes i'm sure it will go 15 hours plus i'm just guessing i did not try this on my clothes even on my skin i could sense it for 10 to 11 hours so beautiful performance Beautiful feel, very unique from the others that I just spoke. So that is Erotic Evening by My Perfume Secret. Definitely recommended if you want to try something unique. If you're only into fresh type, I don't think you would enjoy this one. If you're a beginner or if you're only into fresh type, this is not something that you might enjoy. You can try the others that I mentioned. Now, coming to the Oud category. So I have two Oud here. One is Oud Africa, okay? Like I said, these come only in 12ml option. In case I have missed to mention the price of erotic evening, this is a little expensive. This costs around 700. And if I have missed to mention the price of death kiss, this costs around 500. So my favorite was erotic evening. Though it is expensive, I would still say it is worth the price because it performs really good, smells very unique. Now coming to Oud Africa, this costs around 1450 for a 12 ml. I don't think their Oud categories have an option of 6 ml. So you have to go by 12 ml, which is a little expensive, but I would still say it is worth the price because performance wise, absolutely great. Both these Oud Athas gave me solid lasting on my clothes, 20 plus hours. And you only need about 0.2 ml application on a particular day. So that way, if you look at the value for money, I would still say they are worth the price because one ml itself, you can use it for five different days. And Oud is something which smells pleasant in the cooler weather, so you can keep it for the cooler seasons. But if you personally like wearing it during the summers, evenings as well, then it's up to you. But I personally enjoy most of the Oud fragrance only in the winters because it smells very appealing in the cooler breeze. So Oud Africa, like I said, smells like typical black oud fragrances if you have tried black oud from other 
uh, brands, I think Almas and few other brands also have black wood. So black wood is not realistically an agar wood. It is just named for marketing reasons. So it is synthetically created just to give you a feel of the real wood. So don't get scared by the name Oud Africa. There is no real skanky wood here, but it definitely gives you a feel of black wood if you have tried it from other brands. So the blend here is not rough, not scratchy. It is done very smooth, a very nice black wood sort of smell which is actually cedar wood blended with cinnamon and incense, I believe, because that's what I could sense when I smelt it. Now, all these cedar wood, cinnamon, incense blended together might give you the feel of black wood. And it again depends on the perfumer's technique, how well they try to interpret wood. So if you like black wood, I'm sure you'll like this one. This is definitely for those who personally enjoy wood type of fragrance. Definitely try this one, a very nice black wood opening. And in the dry down, you would get a bit of Cambodian sort of wood along with civet. There is a bit of oak moss and black moss. So in the dry down, when you smell it up close on your clothes, it depends whether you will personally like it because I get some sort of this civet note bit of oak moss. Some people really enjoy that. Some don't really enjoy that. I enjoy that when it comes in the air, but when I smell it directly, it's sort of okay to me. I won't say it's a bad fragrance. It is definitely good because in the air it smells really nice. It smells like a nice smoky wood. So if you're a lover of wood, definitely try this one. It definitely has nice feel of wood in the opening and in the dry down as well. Now performance wise, this easily projects about three to four hours and gave me a solid lasting of 15 to 20 hours on my clothes. Now after eight to nine hours, it's only the base that plays the role here because what I mentioned in the opening does not really stay in the base, which is after eight hours. So the base is actually that civet, oak moss, woody and black moss. So that's what stays in the base and it sticks on and on and goes up to 18 to 20 hours. So the base stays really, really long that black wood sort of feel goes away after eight hours. So overall performance, absolutely great. If you're looking for performance, definitely try this one. So that was Oud Africa by My Perfume Secrets. Now coming to my favorite from their Oud line, at number one is Rose Oud Ultra. Again, a 12 ml, there is no six ml option. This is again a roll ball, the roll on. They have a very nice presentation. I really like the way they presented with that woody base here. Okay, beautiful fragrance. Don't get carried away by the name Rose Oud Ultra. Even if you're not a lover of rose, there is no typical rose type of fragrance here. So the rose is actually playing a supporting role and the rose there is more of a dry rose petal. So there is no feminine sort of rosy feel here at all. It opens up with a very nice dry fruit sort of opening. Now, if you want to look into the official notes, you can check their website, but I don't prefer talking about official notes. I prefer talking about how exactly it smells to me. It definitely gives me a very nice feel of dry fruits, which is dates. There is some bit of resinous feel. There is a nice fig. So all these dry fruits mixed together along with honey. That's what this one smells like to me. And I really enjoy smelling this one because of that nice dry fruit sweetness which is a subtle sweetness. It does not smell like what fruity vibe you get in typical fresh fragrance. It is not like that. It is on a darker side. So dark fruits or dry fruits like resins, dates, figs mixed with honey. Beautiful feel. I like smelling this one and it is very nicely blended. Now then comes that dry rose petal sort of vibe along with saffron and that's just playing the supporting role. In the late dry down, you definitely get benzoin but the benzoin to me is actually evident in the opening itself because that's what actually gives the feel of that dry fruit vibe which I mentioned. Now along with benzoin there is this woody note. Now all this put together gives you the feel of oud here and that's why they've named it as rose oud ultra okay. Now for those who do not like skanky type of oud definitely try these because these do not have any sort of skankiness at all. Just like I mentioned, dry fruit benzoin. That's what you need to keep in mind if you're going for Rosewood Ultra because this is my favorite. Now coming to the performance, this is mind blowing guys. Three to four hours of projection. I can sense the projection even in the fifth and sixth star. Beautiful performance, yet it is very sensual, very smooth. It does not annoy anybody. It smells very classic provided you like 
dry fruit sort of fragrance on the darker side. Lasting, again, absolutely mind-blowing. It gave me a great lasting of 20 plus hours on my clothes. Now, whether this is the opening or the dry down, you can still evidently say that it's Rosewood Ultra when you smell your clothes the next day. Now, if you're wearing it on yourself, you can go nose blind after a few hours, which is obvious. But if you're not wearing that clothes, keep it at the back of the door, like how I mentioned in my Club Dinner Intense video, or keep it in your wardrobe. You can definitely smell this evidently even after 20 hours. Again, I stay in Bangalore weather. The weather is pleasant here. It can differ slightly based on the weather you stay in, but this was the heaviest performing other from the Align that I could try because obviously this also went about 18 to 20 hours, but after 8-9 hours, it's only the base that plays the road. But here, you can sense the overall blend right from the start till the end. Even after 20 hours, I could still smell almost all the notes in this one and that's the beauty of this one. Beautiful fragrance. Try this if you are into darker sort of fragrance. Something like dry fruit with honey, dry rose, woody, benzoin, beautiful blend. If you are only into fresh types, try the others that I mentioned. But if you are into darker fragrance, definitely try this one. Very highly recommended from the wood line that is Rosewood Ultra. And from the other five that I mentioned, I would definitely recommend Erotic Evening. And also Death Kiss and Mr. Perfect. Okay, these are my recommendations. But if you personally like floral type of blends, definitely try Pure Garden as well. This is very smooth. Only caveat is you need to have your taste towards floral blend. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in case you have tried any of these. Comment down in the comment section. See you next time soon. Keep sharing the videos. Cheers.